little explorers, do you know what amazing secrets we're about to uncover today? I don't think people understand just how magical mountains really are. Get ready, because we're about to climb a tall, majestic mountain together and discover some of the coolest facts and creatures hiding up high. Let's start our adventure. Wow, did you know mountains are like super duper giant hills? They're so tall, they tickle the clouds. Some mountains are even taller than a hundred giraffes stacked up. Isn't that amazing? Mountains are nature's skyscrapers reaching way, way up into the sky. Hey there, little explorers. Have you ever looked at a map and thought the continents look like they could snap together just like a giant puzzle? Guess what? You're super smart for noticing that. The ground we walk on is actually made of huge puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always moving, slowly, like a sleepy turtle, floating on a warm, gooey layer deep inside the earth. Imagine you're riding on a giant, invisible skateboard, gliding across the planet. There are about a dozen big plates and a bunch of smaller ones, all different shapes and sizes, like a box of mixed up cookies. These plates fit together to make the Earth's outer shell, called the lithosphere. But don't worry, they move so slowly you'd never notice, about as fast as your fingernails grow. Over a super long time, these tiny wiggles can change the whole world in amazing ways. So, what happens when these giant plates bump into each other? It's like two big squishy pillows smooshing together. The land gets all crinkly and wrinkly, just like when you squish a piece of paper. That's how some of the tallest, most magical mountains are made. The Earth's crust gets pushed up into big, bumpy peaks and deep, swoopy valleys. It's like the planet is making its own mountain art. That's how mountains are born. The tallest mountains in the world, the Himalayas, were made when two giant plates gave each other a big, slow-motion hug. And guess what? These mountains are still growing little by little every year. Next time you see a mountain, imagine it's a giant birthday cake, getting a little bit taller with every plate hug. But wait, there's another way mountains can grow. Sometimes the plates pull apart or slide past each other and cracks open up. Hot melted rock called magma sneaks up through the cracks and bursts out as lava, like a super cool science experiment. When the lava cools, it turns into rock and builds a volcano. Some of the world's most famous mountains, like Mount Fuji, are actually volcanoes made by lots of lava eruptions. When a volcano erupts, it's like the Earth is making a giant, glowing birthday candle. The hot lava flows down, cools off, and turns into new rock, building the mountain higher and higher. Sometimes, volcanoes even make brand new islands. The Hawaiian Islands started as tiny underwater volcanoes, and with every lava splash, they grew into the beautiful islands we see today. Building a volcano is a lot like making a sandcastle at the beach. You scoop up sand and pile it up one handful at a time. Volcanoes do the same thing, but with hot melted rock instead of sand. Each eruption adds a new layer, just like adding more sand to your castle. Nature is the best builder ever. So next time you look at a map or see a mountain, remember the Earth is always busy moving, building, and creating new things. The giant puzzle pieces under our feet are always on the go, making mountains, volcanoes, and even new continents. Our planet is like a magical playground, full of surprises and adventures, thanks to the amazing power of plate tectonics. Isn't that the coolest? Now that's what I call a plate full of fun. The tallest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. Rising majestically above the clouds, Mount Everest is truly the king of all mountains. It stands at a staggering 8,848 meters, or about 29,029 feet, above sea level. That's so high it actually pokes into the jet stream, where the air is thin and the winds are fierce. If you tried to stack 20 Eiffel Towers one on top of the other, you'd just about reach the summit of Everest. That's how tall it is, wowzers! But Everest isn't just tall, it's also one of the most famous and challenging places on Earth. Located in the mighty Himalayas, on the border between Nepal and Tibet, Everest has been a symbol of adventure and exploration for decades. Every year, climbers from all over the world travel thousands of miles, braving freezing temperatures, powerful storms, and steep, icy slopes, all for a chance to stand on the very top of the world. 
The journey to the summit is so tough that only the bravest and most determined adventurers make it. Along the way, climbers pass through breathtaking landscapes, from lush green forests at the base to snowy, windswept ridges near the top. Colorful prayer flags flutter in the wind, sending good wishes to all who attempt the climb. But did you know that mountains are also home to some amazing animals? High up on the rocky cliffs, you might spot mountain goats, who are expert climbers and can leap from rock to rock like superheroes. In the snowy parts, the mysterious snow leopard sneaks around, almost invisible with its spotted fur. Marmots, which look a bit like chubby squirrels, love to pop out of their burrows and squeak to their friends. And way up in the sky, golden eagles soar above the peaks, using their super sharp eyes to spot food far below. These creatures are true mountain masters, perfectly adapted to life in the clouds. Mount Everest is not just a mountain, it's a legend, a dream and a challenge that inspires people everywhere. So next time you look up at a tall building, just imagine, Everest is taller than almost anything else on Earth. Now that's what I call the true king of the mountains. Have you ever wondered why, no matter what time of year it is, the tops of mountains are often blanketed in snow? Even when the valleys below are basking in warm sunshine, those distant peaks remain icy and white. It's a fascinating sight, and it all comes down to how our planet works. Let's take a closer look at why mountains are so cold, even in the middle of summer. Imagine you're climbing a mountain. With every step you take upward, you're not just getting closer to the clouds, you're also moving into a place where the air is thinner and cooler. This is because the Earth's atmosphere acts like a giant blanket, trapping heat close to the ground. The higher you go, the thinner this blanket becomes, and the less heat it can hold. That's why mountaintops are so chilly. But there's more to it. As you climb higher, the air pressure drops. Lower air pressure means that air molecules are more spread out, and they can't hold on to heat as well. When warm air rises up the mountain, it expands because there's less pressure. As it expands, it cools down. This is called the adiabatic lapse rate, a fancy term for the way temperature drops as you go higher. That's why, even on a hot summer day, you might find snow at the top of a mountain. The temperature can drop by about 6.5 degrees Celsius for every 1,000 meters you climb. So, if it's 25 degrees Celsius at the base, it could be well below freezing at the summit. Mountains also get a lot of their coldness from the way they interact with weather. When moist air is pushed up the slopes, it cools and condenses, forming clouds and sometimes snow, even when it's warm below. That's why mountain weather can change so quickly, and why climbers always need to be prepared for cold, windy conditions. So next time you see a snowy peak in the distance, remember, it's not just the altitude, but a whole mix of science and nature that keeps those mountaintops cold and frosty all year round. Wow, you've learned so much about mountains, from how they're formed to the amazing creatures that call them home. And now, why they're so cold, even in summer. Mountains are full of surprises, and there's always more to discover. Here are two fun questions to think about. If you could visit any mountain in the world, which one would you choose, and why? And what kind of animal would you most like to see living high up in the mountains? Talk about your answers with your friends and parents, and see what cool mountain facts you can share with each other. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and remember, adventure is always just around the corner. Ready for a quick mountain quiz? Here's a fun question. What's the name of the highest mountain in the world? Think you know it? If you guessed Mount Everest, you're absolutely right. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth, reaching a whopping 8,848 meters high. Great job! If you had fun learning with us, don't forget to subscribe to Tiny Tales Magic. That way, you'll never miss a new adventure. Hit the subscribe button and join our curious crew for more amazing stories and fun facts. See you next time!